Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Hi, Steve. I'm doing pretty good. On Friday, uh, I sold Carnival Cruise Line short, and um, we got down and we took out uh, a swing point from February 3rd with a little more volume. Uh, but today it looks like it's kind of slowing up, and uh, I wanted your opinion if uh, you think we can go lower with it or if you think, you know, it might be getting to a point now where it's going to start to slow up and maybe uh, reverse. So if we take a look at, um, are you a cruiser by any chance? Uh, you take, uh, do you take cruises? Well, uh, a while ago I did. I took some Carnival cruises. Uh, I'm on the east coast of Florida. We left Fort Canaveral and went yeah. down to Nassau. I did some snorkeling and I had a great time. Well, excellent. Uh, I don't. Maybe they're going to start selling uh, seats for cheap. Maybe you want to get in on that. But anyway, you're asking about, hey, how cheap can this stock get? So let's go take yeah. a look at that. And so uh, I, and just looking at the charts here, today's move below that February 3rd swing point is with uh, less relative uh, strength, less relative uh, weakness out here. And so it's not a reason to it's not a reason to exit your position. But if you were to see a bullish reversal candle form, let's say tomorrow, you would want to right. jettison that position. And in fact, you would consider going in the other direction. You would consider taking the long if you were to get that pattern. We don't have that pattern just yet. Now, the reason why I say that and why you should be taking a look at that is the next level of support or the next breakout area is at 4134. So, uh, and that's really the key. There's another red line going across my screen because I was looking at some instrument a while back and really stretched things. The real breakout level inside of Carnival Cruise Line, if we had looked at this after it created the road momentum indicator top on January 21st, and now, Mike, we're talking, looking at the potential of the exact opposite pattern occurring who knows when, what, what, what we will know when, when we see a bullish reversal candle. But this is, if we were to, on the 21st, we were to look at this and you were to call in and you were going to say, hey, Steve-O, where did you think that Carnival Cruise Line could get back to in this short trade? Well, that target that we would have picked out, this doesn't change, was $41.34. It got down to, well, it's trading at 41.83 right now. So it's approaching a very key level where it could turn. And if you were to see the bullish reversal signal, as I said, you would want to consider taking the other side of the trade. Um, we don't have that yet, but you're nearing support, so you've got to make that. Just now, that's the daily time frame, Mike. Let's just uh, take a look at a weekly for Carnival Cruise Line. See what we have here. We don't have anything of significance on this move lower, other than to just suggest it's a retracement off of that rose momentum indicator bottom it formed. This was back in October of last year. So now, what you and I are looking at is the potential for the uh, for this same pattern to occur on a daily time frame. It hasn't yet. Um, but uh, so just a retracement there, a higher low at this stage of the game. If I look at a monthly time frame chart here, let's try to populate this. What do I see? I see that at the same time on the weekly basis or around the same time that it was making that road momentum indicator bottom, it got to wave number seven. That's letter G on my screen on a monthly basis. Uh, looks like price is trading right into a level of support there being its monthly profile at 41.53. So we've got a breakout level to recall the number, Mike. On the daily time frame chart, but here on the monthly, you've got a bullish structured profile. I don't know whether we'll hold that or not, but you're certainly coming into what should be a very strong uh, support area. Um, and if those support areas fail, then the good news for you would be that price should then go target 3144. And 3144 is the quarterly breakout level. But I'm not suggesting to you just yet that that's where price is going to head to. you got to really watch that daily chart like a hawk, in my opinion, uh, because if you do see that bullish reversal candle, I, I wouldn't want to be I wouldn't want to be short Carnival Cruise Lines. No. And Steve, where would you where would you have a stop? On Carnival Cruise Line. So you got a couple different uh, because you just entered this trade recently. The, the first place that I would say would be my red line value right now, which is 4450. Any any okay. counter trend move up to the oscillator and change line because it's red. Uh, would just be normal or natural if you were to see a close above that. That number is going to change, Mike, you know, as, right. as trading continues. But that's the approximate area that I would be looking at on a counter trend rally. Because if price got a 
above that. It's then suggesting it wants to add higher. Higher would be 47.14. That's the top of the current daily profile. Yeah, I'm not going to let it uh, get that high. I, I try to keep a tight leash on it, and, um, you know, I try not to let it go. Things go too far beyond my buy points. So I well, usually use OCO orders where I can have a, you know, a limit order and a stop in at the same time, and one will cancel the other. Sure, sure. So, so for equity positions... Yeah, Mike, so for equity position like CCL, I don't mind using a 30-minute chart because we can cut that up into equal increments, right? you got a six-and-a-half-hour trading day. So those of you that use intraday time frames for a six-and-a-half-hour uh, chart, please divide six-and-a-half hours by, you know, to, to come up with equal increments out there. Really, so 30 minutes will do. And on a 30-minute time frame chart, Mike, what you can see is that the oscillator and change line here has really acted as a resistance level. 4187 mm -hmm. is that number. Because um, you say you kind of keep things on a tight leash out here. This has a confirmed TD setup nine count. That was an hour ago. That was bar number nine okay. when that formed. So if, in fact, price could close above Stevie's uh, red line, 4187, it says, you know, start to really keep looking at at tightening that i'm not saying to exit necessarily but it would on a short-term basis say that you could see a bounce up to 4269 that would be the normal uh th that would be the normal place it wouldn't it, price would have to close about 4269 to suggest that there's a change in trend on a 30-minute time frame right okay well Steve, i want to thank you again for for all the tools that you taught us um and i i usually keep uh the uh um, roads momentum indicator on my charts and Perfect. it's a valuable tool and it's it's helped me to make some really good trading decisions well that's and, right. glad, um, glad to hear that that's know, what we're here for uh, yep so thanks again for all the additional tools that you've added and you uh you know the education you give us it's really great thank you uh my pleasure and uh, thanks for thanks for those kind words i believe we have ron on the phone as well in denver and ron wanted to also talk about carnival cruise lines so uh ron how can how can i help you what 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 else can i answer for you that that uh, no, we didn't I, cover I, with you covered it well i was looking to and was just wondering if it was too late to buy puts because i didn't know how well nobody knows i don't think how serious this corn of this sure. uh, virus in china the coronavirus virus in china is going to get Yes, First, I true. Would it's going to hurt the revenues of Carnival Cruise. Yeah. So the cool thing is, so far, so you're right. That's a fundamental. Uh, it's a fundamental and emotional thing that is going on, obviously across the uh, well, most mostly in Asia, but but still. Um, you know, what's that impact going to be? I, I still don't have a tool where I can hover over a bar to know what the current event was. You know, that was going on at that time. But, uh, but look, we price is pulling back to a key level of support. So we'll see if those buyers are going to, in fact, try to turn things to the upside. All right? Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for holding. That was Ron in Denver. Two for one, Carnival Cruise Lines.